Tonight we are hearing from the Atlanta Public Schools superintendent about how she's working to address crime on campus as well as issues like food and housing insecurities. Yeah, in the last few hours, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter spoke to Dr. Lisa Herring and tonight she's sharing more from their conversation. APS Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring told me her main focus for the more than 50,000 students in her school district is to make sure they're fed, clothed, and healthy. In the last several hours, Dr. Herring revealed in an AJC guest column that she is begging corporate partners to help fund support services for students suffering from emotional distress, food insecurity, and housing instability that resulted from the pandemic. Her goal is to raise $15 million and to match 87 schools with a corporate partner. This is discretionary money so that schools can do things such as invest more in their teachers in the classroom or, ide or ideate or innovate around how we support our children. She is also addressing violence on campus, saying the district, like many others in the metro Atlanta area, has seen an uptick in fights and disciplinary issues. Nicole Riggins, who has had multiple children attend Atlanta Public Schools, says she's happy to hear the district recognizes there is a problem. My special needs student was injured in a fight um, that happened at Booker T. Washington High School um, that she had nothing to do with. Um, so I definitely think it's needed. I definitely think it is a step in the right direction, and it's now both proactive and reactive. Dr. Herring says in their effort to combat violence, APS is providing telehealth services to pinpoint the root cause of troubled behavior. She also says that she feels the district's biggest accomplishment this year is their record high graduation rate, currently standing at 84%. Despite facing some pushback over the last couple of months from a group petitioning to have her replaced, citing underperforming schools and a lack of transparency, the superintendent says transparency remains one of her top priorities. But transparency means honesty, and it also means it's a call to action to do more. In Atlanta, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News. Yeah, safety is top mind for parents and ahead this weekend. The district is hosting an event for APS families. It's taking place on Saturday at 2 p.m. at Benjamin E. Mays High School and organizers were offered tools and resources to help prevent violence in their schools.